Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about these. I actually dropped a couple pictures of these a few months ago on my Instagram, but haven't said a whole lot about them. But now I'm super excited because I'm starting to get the lights that are going to go in these. I'm going to tell you what these are. If you have a third gen Nissan Frontier, a D41 Nissan Frontier, these are going to be a very exciting new product for you that don't exist anywhere else, and I'm super excited to tell you more about them. Also, I'm going to tell you what lights I'm putting in them. So if you want to learn more about the D41 or third gen Nissan Frontier custom fog light brackets that allow you to mount pretty much whatever kind of lights you want, stay tuned. When I let you go, ooh, I just pulled you closer, ooh, I can't understand where it came from, but you got it, my God. All right, guys, so as I mentioned in the intro today, I'm going to be talking about replacing fog lights in the D41 Frontier, the new body style Frontier is a beautiful truck it comes with in the Pro 4X trim. It comes with LED headlights and LED fog lights, and they're fine, right? Like they're OK. They're nothing special. They're definitely not gonna you know, light up way far down the road. They're way better than the second gen lights were, so I'm not complaining, but I'm not gonna mess with the headlights because they're really, really expensive, right? And I actually really like the LED headlights and think they're pretty decent. But those fog lights, when you turn those on, you can kind of notice a tiny bit of a difference, but I really wanna light up the night and I really wanna have some good additional light that I have a control over stock, right? So I can use the thing on the stock to turn those lights on and off. So what I'm gonna be replacing my fogs with are these brackets, which come from a company called Freedom Outfitters. That's their little logo right there. It's kind of cool. But uh, these are basically custom made in Michigan for them um, to allow you to mount pretty much any sort of lights that you want in here and they fit perfectly in the stock fog light location on a third gen Frontier. Now as far as the lights that I'm going to be putting in them, I'm going with the Novesight lights for my fogs because of how happy I am with the ditch lights that I've got already. So these are called the Cyber Ones. They are the two inch off-road pods. They're basically really similar to like a Baja Designs two banger or you know, those type of things. So basically it's two lights and this is a pair. So I'm gonna need to run a pair in each side of the truck. There'll be a pair in here and there'll be a pair on the other side in the other bracket. So I'm gonna take these out of the box. I'm gonna show you everything that comes with them. I'm gonna kind of show you how I'm gonna mount them in this custom bracket. I will put links in the description below to the bracket and I'm also gonna put it to these lights. So if you were looking to do something like this to your Frontier, game changer, right? And you can put whatever lights you want in it, but these Novasite lights for the price have just been amazing and well worth the money. Taking a look at the Novasite lights, Again, when I got their ditch lights, I was really happy with them. The way they package their stuff up is super professional and nice looking. Uh, the quality is definitely there. And I've had them on through some cr pretty crazy terrain stuff and quite a few miles, maybe like 5,000 miles now, no water penetration, no problems whatsoever. They've been fantastic. Just like with the ditch lights, they do have this really nice installation manual that's got you know full on pictures of everything, tells you how to put the brackets together, tells you the dimensions of them, tells you all the info on it, and it's actually really good which this is pretty unusual in a lot of these off-road lights. It's sort of tough to get good instru instructions, but this gives you everything. So anyways, the installation manual is super nice. Again, everything's always packaged really nice, which I'm a big fan of just because one, it looks more professional, it looks nicer, and two, it uh, protects the stuff, right? So it makes sure that you get it in a nice way. Now you do get really nice included in here, these Deutsch connector plugs, just like the ditch lights with a built-in button on it. So if you just wanted to wire up a button into the cab of your truck, you could do that. Again, my plan is to wire these into the existing harness from the stock fog lights. So I'm just gonna basically co-mount them together. Now, just like with the ditch lights, it comes with a black cover for the lights, and then it comes with an amber cover for the lights. Or you could go no cover and just have white light. It's got all your hardware for each light in the bag here, and then it's got your Deutsch connector here that would connect to that. Now, again, in my case, I'm probably gonna have to snip this Deutsch connector off, pull the positive and negative out, and then wire that straight into my stock harness. But just pointing it out, if you want plug and play, it's really super easy. Now here are the lights, and I will say these things are beefy. They're heavy, they're aluminum. They've got cooling fins on them. As far as the design goes, they look really nice. They look very similar to a lot of those big name 
lights. And then you can see that this thing is gonna, just from the style and the design of the housings, this thing's gonna project some lights. Now these are mostly spotlights. So again, my plan with these is to aim them right, have them aimed down, but then to really truly use these as off-road lights. So I may have to get a little creative with how I'm gonna actually mount these because they just fit inside of that housing but they look awesome and I know that these things are going to put out a ton of light in place of the stock ones but they do fit in this housing there's just maybe some some ways I have to get a little creative as far as how to mount it with the stock hardware that comes with it but I will probably do another video on that down the road to show you exactly how I did that I've got some ideas so anyways they fit in there perfect though they look great they will be awesome and bright I'm sure but this is what I plan to go with so just wanted to kind of show you guys those show you the quality of these lights again if they're anything like the ditch lights they're going to be amazing so but those were the Novesight two inch spotlights with the freedom outfitters fog light replacement bracket this is a really exciting thing for us third gen frontier folks because we haven't had anything like this before right the truck is so new i haven't heard of anybody being able to replace their stock fog lights especially as easily as a bolt-in bracket that's custom made for our trucks so again if this is out by the time this video comes out then i will have a link in the description below if not i will have a link to it so that you could you know sign up for email updates whenever they do release these but they are going to be super huge and these nov site lights just like my ditch lights are going to be fantastic and throw a ton of light so stay tuned for a video down the road showing you them installed i will do like a full install video to show exactly how i wired it up what color wires go to what how to wire them into your stock fog light harness so that you can basically make it plug and play with the new fog lights and how i'm going to mount them to this bracket um, and then i'll show you light output and all that stuff too i'll throw a drone up and get an above view and, and all that good stuff so there'll be tons of new content coming on both these lights and these brackets in the future so, but again, I hope that that was helpful for you. If it was, click that like button. If you are not already, make sure to click the subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple videos every week. I have a ton of new Frontier content coming out, tons of general overlanding stuff, and then a ton of gear reviews and things like that too. So if you're into any of that stuff, I'd love to have you. Also in the description down below will be links to all my other social channels. So definitely check those out and come hang out wherever you want. There are, is also a link to my website where I've got funny overlanding and camping stickers and patches. So if you're into that kind of stuff, they're awesome quality. Quality. They're hilarious, I think, and uh, I'd love to sell you some of those. So go check those out as well. And then last but not least, there are links to my Patreon, where we've got a 24-7 Discord and a bunch of awesome guys in there that sort of chat about our rigs and gear and things like that day to day. And then once a month, we have like a Zoom call where we all hop on and chat, catch up. And then also there's the Newbie Overlanders Facebook group, which is totally free to join. Tons of awesome members all around the world, all around the country. So if you're looking to meet people, to find people to go overlanding with, to learn stuff about overlanding in general, setups, rigs, gear, that kind of thing, definitely check that group out as well. But again, thanks for watching. Post up in the comments below with any questions you've got, thoughts, what you, you know, want to know about, and I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.